right, we are now joined by today's SpeedyCash.com 250 winner, driver of the number seven Spire Motorsports Chevrolet, Kyle Bush. We will open it up right to questions. So if you have a question for Kyle, please raise your hand and we will get a wireless mic to you. We'll start up here with Jerry and go to Bob. Jerry Jordan, Jerry Jordan kicking the tires.net. Did you have fun out there tonight? Because you were, uh, you know, they battled you pretty hard. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it to the end there for a second. Yeah, it um, <clears throat> got a little dicey there. A couple restarts from the end, but uh, Corey had been making that move the last couple of restarts on whoever he was behind, and I kind of thought to myself, I was like, I don't think he's going to do it to me. He did, so um, <laughs> don't don't think anybody's going to cut you any slack because of what your name is. So um, certainly. We ran hard, though. Um, that kind of worried me, though, with that situation because it, it lost us the opportunity to control the race on the restart for the next one. Uh, gave that to the 19, but uh, we were able to fight hard and, and work through the next restart and, uh, and get a run on the 19 and was able to make a good move into turn one. So uh, from there, though, I, I thought I'd be able to, to gap away. I had all night long uh, been able to build a gap, but um, that was just over the course of more laps, and we just didn't have enough laps to, uh, to be able to stretch out. And also, you uh, tied Todd Bodine's win with six wins here to, tonight. So I guess you have to come back and race again to try and beat that, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, I just got lucky because the schedule changed. You know, typically this is always um, in the time of the year where Cup isn't here, or um, you know, it was always in the playoffs, and, and I wasn't able to do it. So fortunate to have the Texas come on a schedule at a time in which I could run it. Kind of with Bristol. Bristol was the same way. I was able to finally run another race at Bristol. It's been about five years since I did. So. Um, you know, real, real cool to do, to do that and thankful for the opportunity with Spire and everybody at Team Chevy. But, um, you know, thanks to Team Realtree as well for the support that they gave us. And, uh, you know, there's a long heritage of, of drivers that have big names that have gone on to race Realtree uh, cars or trucks and have sponsorship from them. So it was cool to get them their first win in NASCAR. Bob? Uh, Bob Parker's Fox Sports. I have two. The first, like, do you know these trucks? Like, are these <clears throat> trucks that you drove last year? And, like, are you... Like, I mean, yes. you, yeah, I so. mean, I don't pay attention to chassis numbers. I don't know, but after practice, Brian didn't tell me until after practice, of course, that uh, this was the Vegas truck. So I was like, oh, thanks for bringing me the piece of junk. <laughs> so we ran 16th in Vegas with it. So I guess it's not that bad. Uh, we just had to do some different things and fix it. And it was good tonight. And how much, I mean, they haven't put down stuff on the track for the last couple of years, but could you still feel stuff? And how, what type of impact do you think it'll have if any over the rest of the weekend yeah you know you could you could definitely feel it um that was kind of my thing there at the end where Corey got into it and was running in the in the higher lane there the last i don't know five laps to go and i tried to get up there with three laps to go and my, i i couldn't make it work like my tires weren't hot enough yet or something i chattered really really bad and uh about lost the lead you know lost enough momentum off of two where he got a big run on me so um i just had to go back and and run the bottom protect the line on the bottom and and uh, force him to just kind of stay running up there. Do we have any additional questions for Kyle? <clears throat> Let's get tomorrow out of the way, can we? So I don't have to be back here. Bob, what do you got for tomorrow? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sure I got to come back anyway. So, all right. Congratulations and thanks for the time. Great job, driver.